What's going on guys? It's Eric from Intelligent Quads. This video is going to be a little bit more of an update video. I'm going to be showing you guys what I've been working on for the last couple weeks. Um, so what I'm working on right now is I'm taking a look at some of the other vehicles within RD Pilot. Previously, I've only used the quadcopter control system within RD Pilot, but now I'm taking a look at RD Rover and specifically RD Rover configured for a, an autonomous boat. I was inspired to do this because of a YouTuber that I watched called RC Test Flight. Um, he was able to do some extremely long duration um, autonomous boat missions uh, in his local area. And in addition to that, I was running the other day next to this lake and I noticed that there was actually like a good amount of, of uh, trash in the lake. And I was like, man, I think I could build an autonomous boat to find and pick up all that trash and that would be a really cool challenge and I think it's pretty doable. So I've got a couple friends uh, that are going to be helping me on this project and um, the goal is to kind of take some of what we've already uh, have experience with, uh, specifically like YOLO and the IQ GC functions and put that all together to make the autonomous boat. So what the video is playing in the background is the uh, simulation that I just set up for this project. And this act simulation was actually kind of difficult to um, put together because I think I might be the only one that actually has uh, a gazebo simulation of a, a robotic boat with the RD Pilot plugin um, on the boat model. Um, so it actually took me a good amount of work to find a bunch of different repos and uh, figure out how to put all the buoyancy and uh, the RD Pilot plugin and configure it for Rover um, all together. But I got it working, and now all that code is on my GitHub, and the link's down in the description. So if you guys uh, want to do your own autonomous boat, feel free to use that in your own project. So I've actually known for a while that RD Pilot supports a lot of various different vehicles, and those various different vehicles utilize a lot of the same code between the different control systems and it also uses the same Mavlink communication interface so what I'm hoping is that uh, it'll be pretty easy to take a lot of the guidance code that I've written for my various drones and repurpose a lot of that for this project. Um, that's really all I got for you guys in this video. I um, hope you guys are pretty excited to see uh, what comes of the boat project uh, and until next time keep it cool. See you in the next one.